you would have stuck with it if you would have continued to try professional basketball? I don't know. I might have. Uh, for instance, uh, the first year, the, the money was the same, about the same. Uh, whether I graduated as an engineer, which I was studying at the time, the annual salary for an engineer was about the same as what you get for playing uh, a year in uh, professional ball, you know, as a rookie. So there was not too big of a, a monetary incentive uh, to stay with uh, a professional uh, basketball if you had a, a profession you know, by going to school. So kind of the same at, the, at that time. Can you tell us um, one of your most memorable stories or experiences as a, as a basketball player? Any memorable games? That well, you I guess uh, there's a couple of instances, I guess, uh, uh, that I like to remember. Most of the time, I was kind of a role player, uh, you know, that's the way I grew up is uh, uh, being a team team player, you know, you hustle hustle for the ball and, and uh, do your uh, defensive uh, work and, and whatnot and uh, not worry about scoring or trying to be the, the, the star or anything. And then uh, that's the way I grew up in high school. Uh, I had a teammate that was the same way, uh, only he was a, a, a better better shot than I was and so he scored more and in fact he ended up I think uh, in our high school days he was a top scorer in our in our conference and uh, uh, I played with him for four years and, and we were real real good friends never made a bad pass because we you know we played with, uh, with each other for so long that uh, we could read each other's mind we knew which way it was going to go and, uh, and so on and so forth but uh, uh, that's the way uh, I grew up playing playing basketball and uh, but there was uh, the first year I went to junior college uh, I happened to get a hot streak and uh, not that I intended to, sh to shoot or, or, or to score a lot but it, it just seemed like uh, I had all the opportunities to do so and so I ended up uh, high score in the in that uh, postseason tournament, and I got to be MVP of the of the tournament uh, that year. We won the the that uh, postseason tournament. And that was when I was with my first year at uh, Weber College. It was a two-year junior college at the time, but uh, that was my first big uh, starring role, I guess. And then the other one uh, was uh, in uh, 1947 in Kentucky, uh, playing against Kentucky in a championship game. Uh, the night before the game, the coach told me to get plenty of sleep because uh, he was going to have me uh, try to guard Ralph Beard, who was their high scorer and their All-American and their star. And so uh, uh, during the game, uh, I was lucky enough uh, to have a lot of team support and uh, team defense to help me, and uh, uh, Ralph Beard only scored one point that night. So. Uh, and I scored two, so I, I have scored. <laughs> I have scored my man by one point that game, and uh, that, you know, it's uh, not a real big deal, but it, you know, made made me feel like I uh, contributed uh, my share at least for the championship.